Hi, and thanks for watching another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. This week's video is about welding positioner turntables, uh, specifically bench top welding positioners, ones that hold parts roughly up to 200 pounds but still are not huge and still are affordable and can be placed up on a work table to increase your production and efficiency. This one is about one that's made in the USA, if that's important to you, made by MBC Company. It's a R2 model welding positioner with a 200 pound capacity and I'm going to show you some of the features. I recommend any welding positioner you get to get the uh, this type of a jaw chuck instead of the standard lathe type that uses a key. It's a little more expensive but so much quicker to get parts in and out and more versatile. Right here I am holding a camera with one hand and using this thing with the other. And you can see it's a little cumbersome but it's still pretty quick and easy to change a part out even just using one hand. Um, they're just They're just worth it. Uh, if you're if you're wanting a welding positioner to start with to increase your efficiency, then you're definitely interested in the uh, in the uh, uh, quick quick lock chuck. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I forgot. But it's, this MBC positioner has also got a uh, a crank handle that lets you go from horizontal to vertical and nothing flat. And then once you get the angle you want anywhere in between horizontal and vertical, you can lock it in place with a lock nut. Uh, you can change things on the fly. It is. Uh, it's a good little positioner. It's very simple, very simple. No, no fancy control box. Just basically a speed variable speed knob, and a forward and reverse switch, and then a position crank with a lock nut to lock it in place. For doing round parts like this, where uh, shafts, where machine. Uh, or machining is going to uh, put threads back on or something and there's a lot of welding that takes place and if you didn't have a positioner you'd have to reposition every half turn position turn the part turn the part turn the part no that takes too much time if you've got a lot of things like this to do or if you're in business for yourself a positioner is well worth everything it costs I think uh, you can get one of these for somewhere around a thousand or twelve hundred dollars maybe a little extra for the chuck but um, well worth it. We, we talked a little bit about in the last video about using a CK cold wire feeder to even further increase efficiency in production. Uh, this week we're strictly talking about a positioner and also here's a tip on how to set the positioner and get close to the right travel speed for welding. Just get a piece of tape, doesn't matter, masking tape, aluminum tape, whatever, just a piece of tape and a ruler and mark off eighth inch increments with a ballpoint pen. Get them as close as you can. Don't have to be exact because we're going to be counting off uh, in our brain anyway, so there's a little bit of fudge factor involved no matter what we do. Take the piece of tape and place it on the round part that you're going to weld. doesn't matter what size the part is, we're going to have eighth inch increments. Now try to get the, the, travels, the, the table speed adjusted to where you've got roughly one eighth per second. So count off 1,001, 1,002, where it, it basically covers an eighth of an inch every second. And then when you see what setting it took on the knob, write it down. Write it down in a notebook. Take notes, say for three inch diameter it took, you know, 2.2 or something like that. This particular part was about three inch diameter and using this method got it dead nuts just about right. Uh, pushing, the, pushing it just a little bit to, tr to try to keep up with it, but just if you're in production, it's about where you would have wanted it. Now, if you're going to change up, change gears a little bit and, uh, and change to a smaller part, uh, things might be a little different, but this eighth inch increment thing uh, will get you in the ballpark and get you a lot closer than just guesswork. If you have to change to a smaller diameter, like go all the way from three or four inch all the way down to half inch, use the same piece of tape. Put your part in, put the same piece of tape on, hold your torch still, and adjust the table speed until you get roughly uh, an eighth of an inch passing over the electrode about every second. Now for smaller parts, it seemed to me after welding this, I should have slowed it down just a little bit. It was a little bit out of control because for small parts, if you move the torch, if you're holding the torch by hand, you're bound to move it just a little bit and it just gets out of whack a little bit. But you can see it, it took a lot more speed. Um, a through hole design is a great feature to have. This MBC has the through holes, which means you can do really long parts and hang them out the back end. And you can also purge hollow 
tubing and stainless steel parts that require a back purge. So it's it's just a really good feature, and I would recommend any positioner you get to uh, to look for one that's got the through hole design. This piece of half inch stainless bar stock uh, is, like I said, was a little bit fast to try to keep up with, but it was in the ballpark. I slowed it down just a little bit, it would have done it would have done a lot better. So that would have been faster than just guesswork. Okay, those are some of the features of the MBC. In another video, we're going to talk about the Gentech welding lathe and all the uh, accessories that are available for that. Uh, thanks for watching. Please visit WeldingTipsAndTricks.com.